in the recent uh, year DSC, the avian volume question tends to not provide any graph. So it's a very important thing for you to understand the situation and also draw properly. They tell you there is a metal sphere. So we are going to draw a sphere. Hey, kidding, man. So I'm talking about sphere with the radius 3 and then it's because our equal sign here mean the volume should equal to the total volume of another items melt and we cast to a hemisphere with a cone so a hemisphere and also with a cone And then they say that the hemisphere and also the cone have the same height and same base radius. Beware about the hemisphere. If you consider the height is h, then the base radius of a hemisphere is also h. That's the definition of sphere. So that means the heights are the same. The height of the cone is also h. The base radius are the same, which imply that the base radius is also h. So it's a not very good drawing on scale. The correct version should be approximately like this. Where these two sides are the same. But anyway, we have enough information to build up the equations now. So we are going to translate part by part. For sphere, 4 over 3 pi r power of 3. For hemisphere, 2 over 3 pi r here talking about h power 3 for cone 1 over 3 base area that means pi h square times the height h so you look at this equation only one unknown which is h divide both sides by pi first i really don't like that and then handle part by part 3 is cancelled out, so it's power of 2. 4 times 9, we get 36. It's equal to 2 over 3 h power 3 plus 1 over 3 times h power 3. So h power 3 is 36. If you want, you may also get h. h is equal to 36 cubic roots. Uh, but we are not asking about h directly even though it's useful we are talking about the volume of a sphere so oh we already finished part a the volume of sphere is just 4 over 3 pi r just now is pa uh, 3 power 3 so we get 36 pi cm cube and then in part b they are talking about the volume of hemisphere so this part we already finished and then we get h power 3 so now we can use it uh you have to show write this again here and then you write down the volume of hemisphere is equal to 2 over 3 pi r that means h power 3 but we already know h power 3 so it is 36 that means this is 24 pi cm power 3. Part C are asking about the total surface area of a hemisphere uh, compared with the surface area of the original sphere. So we just calculate one by one. Let's talk about the sphere first. Uh, don't be too lazy. Write down what you are calculating for clear presentation and ensure that you don't get lost. So this is 4 pi r square. For the sphere, the r that means 3. So 4 pi 3 square. Then we get 36 pi cm square. Compare with the total surface area of the hemisphere. It's come from the curved surface together with the base. Two things. So the curved surface is 2 pi r square and then plus the base is a complete circle pi r square. Now the radius is h so we are going to replace h inside.
and then that means 3 pi h square then you use your calculator it's because we already have h so it's replace it by cubic roots of 36 then use your calculator it's approximately 32.7 times of pi cm square which is less than 36 pi cm square so that's why we have to draw our conclusion now the total surface of hemisphere should not greater than so the claim is not correct here